Hi, and welcome everyone. It is May the 8th and the start of International Coaching Week 2023. My name is Jennifer Britton. I'm the CEO and head coach at Potentials Realized and groupcoachingessentials.ca. Really pleased to spend a few minutes with you, perhaps as you start the week or maybe even as you are in the flow of the week. This is the first of three program specials that we have for coaches during International Coaching Week. So we turned 19 a few weeks ago, actually last month in April, and every year we've been doing something special. This year I'm going to be doing a series of three calls. So this morning we're actually tying into the body of work of Plan Do Track. Some of you may be familiar with this or my sibling book, which is known as Coaching Business Builder. So this morning is a weekly planning session, opportunity for you to get focused, get going. You don't have to do this on the week of May 8th. You can do this at any time. Tomorrow, I'll be connecting with Kathy Vaughn, and we're going to sit down and talk a little bit about team coaching and the ACTC that'll run from 12 to 1230 Eastern. And then on Thursday, I'll be doing a real-time 45-minute design sprint. That also will run from 12 to 12.45. And that's geared for coaches who want to build out a program, whether it is a skeleton of a retreat, a webinar, a workshop, or even some high-level ideas around group and team coaching. So take the QR code, scan it in, and you can learn more about these events. They're open to everyone. Today is a weekly planning sprint, and I really enjoy bringing these forward. It is an opportunity to stop and pause and reflect on what you want to create intentionally this week. So we're going to get started. Um, a lot of this is similar to something I did several years ago with the 90-day guide for success. And so with that, I hope that you will follow along. You will take a moment as we get going to really think about what you want to create this week. So the whole notion of the 90-day biz success and also 90-day plan to track is daily steps plus consistent action equals momentum. And as we get started with those, really think through what you want to be creating. So we're going to get started and I'm going to get us rolling with the reconnecting workspaces dice. So just a little bit of an intentionality. Sometimes we might use photographs. Sometimes we might use other things. Today, I'm actually going to die, roll the dice here in the Reconnecting Workspaces dice set. And I'll just invite you. We're going to do a series of reflective prompts as we go. So feel free to actually just take a pen out or your other device and just make note of whatever is of interest to you. So I, hopefully I won't knock things down, but our first dice set, if you could see that there, is actually representation around focus. So this is one of the icons from the 90 day guide. As you think about your week this week, just take 15 seconds to think about what is important with the word focus. Okay, so grab a pen, maybe take some notes. What is important as you step into International Coaching Week with focus? Our next one is the hand clap. And I like to think that International Coaching Week is our week to do a bit of a hand clap. Again, take 15 seconds just to note for yourself what is important around the hand clap. Our third one is about team. So whether you're working with a group or a team, what is important about that collaborative conversation space? Again, take 15 seconds to just jot any words, any thoughts down around this. Our next one is strengths. And the idea with a lot of our work as coaches is that it is strengths-based. So again, take 15 seconds, think about what is important with strengths. Our fifth one 
is priorities. And part of the intent of this weekly planning session is to get you thinking about your priorities. We're just gonna take about 10 minutes to do that planning. But as you think about priorities right now, what is important? And finally, the compass. Again, many of you may be very familiar with this metaphor. As you think about your anchors, as you think about where you're going, what's important about the compass? So as we kick these off in 2021, I was doing a weekly series um, as part of the 90 day guide for success where we would meet every Monday morning to think about what is important. And I'm pulling that, that work forward because we're gonna spend a few minutes now doing some reflective pause around what's your priorities this week. On busy weeks especially, it can get feeling very frenetic. So I wanted to bring forward, and I haven't uploaded it, feel free to sketch this out if you would like. This is the weekly planner series that we used in 2021 as part of the Standout Virtually series. Today, we're really going to just zoom into that upper right corner, getting you to think about this week, what are your top three priorities? You're also going to notice beside that there's space for you to note any business or personal items of priority as well. So this takes us into our first reflective prompt. First question really is this last one, as I asked, which is what are your top three priorities this week? And I'm gonna leave the weekly planner sheet up just in case you want to um, try it out, sketch it out, see what happens. But intent here is to give you just a few minutes to think about what are the three things by the end of this week that you wanna have complete, checked off, or in process. And I'm gonna just put a two minutes on our timer here because we're gonna do a series of two minutes reflective prompts. So first question, what are the top three priorities that you would like to complete or at least make some pretty good progress with this week? Write them down on whatever paper or device you have. And if you're just joining us, welcome. We're just in our first reflective prompt. So please grab a pen and a piece of paper. We've got about 30 seconds left to zoom into this question of what are your top three priorities this week? So take a moment and we're gonna spend a few more to build on this. All right, that's our first two minute prompt. So I'm gonna go back here and again, you don't have to have a copy of this, but we're gonna actually zoom into this middle part down here around focus. 
And I want to give you a little bit of time because at the start of a Monday, especially, it can really feel like we've got so many things on our to do list. We're going to zoom into this bar, the mid bar there of focus. And I'd like to invite you in this next two minute sort of block of time to think about the specific tasks, projects, and people that you want to focus on this week. So you might want to make a further delineated bulleted list. Sometimes people ask, well, what's the difference between a task and a project? And I would use, for example, one of my projects this week is really doing a lot. We're selling our house. So getting the whole house sell, there's certain rooms that need to be finished, certain things that need to go to storage, certain things that need to be sold. So the sales I'm going to put on the task list, but the project of, you know, let's call it looking at bookshelves, um, that would be the overall project. So we're going to take two minutes right now. Again, on your piece of paper, whatever it looks like, or even on a device, what are the task projects and people you want to focus on this week? And some of you might find, in fact, that it's really about the people because this is International Coaching Week and there are so many opportunities for people to come together and connect. So we'll take two minutes identifying our task projects and people. All right, so we're going to move to the line below it. And for the next few minutes, I'd like you to think about what's going to help you be successful with this, right? One of the key things is one, perhaps connecting with your why. Why are you doing what you are doing? And what is so important about the things that you have put on this focus list? It's really easy in today's world of business to just get into that checkbox activity which feels great, but after a while, that's what really does lead to burnout. So think about your why. And we're gonna spend another two minutes zooming in now to this enablers and derailers. The enablers are really the things that can help you be successful. It might include things like your strengths. It might also include reconnecting with your why. Derailers are things that could get in the way. Some of those, of course, we can control. Some might be just on the horizon. So we'll take a two minute burst right now, just zooming into overall with your top three this week or your focus of your task projects, people, what is gonna help you and what might get in the way. One word of caution, and one thing we really saw when we were doing this with the 90 day guide for success was some people start like, overthinking this. I'd like to encourage you on a Monday to just go with your gut, really highlight for yourself what's going to help you be successful. 
and what might get in the way so that you're able to make some conscious choices around what you choose to focus on and what you might put into place to get you over those hurdles. Enjoy. All right, so I'm going to zoom us out a little bit because this is a weekly planning sheet and we've just done a part of it. You're going to notice here there's space for you to refer to this throughout the week. And I'd like to invite you, if it's useful, at the end of the week to really think about taking five to 15 minutes on Friday or whenever you wrap up your week to zoom in to what your achievements were, any lessons learned, and then going through a similar process for next week. What I'm going to do is I will share this PDF as a link that you can download when I go to um, upload this recording. So you'll find that over on YouTube at Effective Group Coach, or you can find it probably, I will make note of posting it on Facebook, also at Effective Group Coaching, or at LinkedIn. And I hope that you enjoy this. Again, in 2021, as part of the launch of the 90 Day Biz Success Guide, um, we spent 90 days going through this. So every week I would meet with a group, we would do the rolling of the dice, we go through some of these as you've seen, and it really made a difference. So I hope that you've enjoyed this piece. What I wanna take us into is another layer because we've got a little bit more clarity probably on where you want to go. But what is that energy? So I want to take you now into these images. And there is a bit of a travel theme, as you might notice as you dig into them. I'd like to invite you for a moment to think now of the energy you want to embrace as you step into this week. And across the screen, you're going to find several dozen images. I'd invite you in this next two minute block to sketch out or grab a couple, right? It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, but what is the energy you wanna step into the week? Uh, for example, do you wanna really think about this as going down the road on uh, sort of a, a longer journey? And if you look to the upper level on the sixth slide, you're gonna see a road. That energy might be a little different than the cockatoo who is on the third shelf. So you're going to really think about with you're going to really think about what are those images and Carla's asking, can you share where to get the dice and name. So this is actually a prototype dice set that I've developed. This connects with reconnecting workspaces. If you're not familiar with my latest writing, it is called reconnecting workspaces. And the 90 day guide for success is a companion book. So it is a 90 day guide for onboarding and reboarding in any workspace. The neat thing about that book is there are 90 icons that associate with each of the 90 days. So last year I had this prototype built. These are real dice. These are actually part of the dice set. 
We're working on getting a smaller version because what we found is to mail these, it was really challenging. So Carla, stay tuned. I actually have an intern working on this right now. We hope to be able to get the dice set available for sale at a reasonable price because when we did the prototype, these were costing $60. That's a lot of money. So <laughs> with that, we'll keep you posted. But it's another way, right, to activate some new insights. So notice what we're doing. We'll talk a little bit about that at the end of this call. But for now, let's dive in. Two minutes. Maybe you've already got your images. But I'd like to really invite you now to really zoom in to a handful of images that can accompany you for this week. So once again, I'm setting the timer for two minutes. And just free associate, write down what, you know, sketch them out and write down how these can support you in your work this week. Enjoy. Two minutes uh, starting now. All right. So I invite you, if you would like, if it's useful to share something with us, you can do that in chat. You can also raise your hand and speak verbally. But I'd like you to think about what is the one most important thing you can be doing this week to get you into momentum. Because part of the whole plan do track and reconnecting workspaces body of work is about helping you think about that ease and that flow. As we have here, you know, part of the reconnecting workspaces is really bringing to life the triangle of trust, safety, and connection. If you saw my 2021 TED Talk, which is called the Virtual Remote and Hybrid Checklist, I talk a lot more about this triangulation. So whether we're a business owner or whether we're part of a team, a key part is really about creating connection. Connection with ourselves, connection to others, connection with our purpose. And my guess is many of you watching today's call are or participating in this live are business owners. And so I hope that this has given you a little bit more clarity around what's important for you. And think about how we did that. Working backwards, where we're sort of three layers to this awareness. So number one, working backwards again, we did the visuals. Hopefully this rounded out some of the energy of what your focus was. And we spent quite a bit of time, almost 10 minutes, looking at different components of the weekly planner sheets. We actually started the conversation with our dice set. And I know not all of you were here live, but just to go through those dice again, we had focus, right? So think about how these words show up or will show up throughout the week. Focus, we also had team, it's the team one again. We have people joining us as we go, which is always nice. Let me just let more people come on in. Also, we had 
strengths. So think about how strengths are going to show up in your week. Maybe you are facilitating a conversation around strengths. We also had the word priorities. So how will priorities show up in your week this week? And we also had the word compass. So think about how your compass may focus you in what you want to accomplish. And again, reconnecting workspaces and a 90 day guide for success, I go a little bit more into those elements of the compass. It's not just our direction, but it's the anchoring of our values. So as you move through this week, whether it is International Coaching Week or another week, how can your values help accelerate your process? And the final one that came up in our dice set today was the hand clap. And I like to think of that as acknowledgement. I wanna acknowledge you for taking a little bit of time today, whether it was first thing on a Monday morning, or maybe you're catching this a little bit later in the week, but I hope that this ability to start planning, start thinking intentionally about your work, your personal items as well, put a little bit of a positive spin. Personally, I love images, right? I, I just will share a little bit about, you know, the process I went through this morning with you. Um, really got some clarity on both the personal and the professional. I love the images, which is why I bring them back, which is why we created the dice set. And I find that this is probably going to help move me forward throughout a very busy week. So a couple of other pieces that you might want to layer on. Um, I talked a little bit about my first TED Talk, but some of you may know that I did a TED Talk three months ago called Coaching Teams Through Chaos. And given the focus on team coaching this year, I think this has become quite a popular one, actually, that it's now been seen by more than 30,000 people, which for me, I think that's a pretty good darn visibility. Um, you can scan the QR code and it will take you over to the TED site. But why I'm sharing this is because if you are a coach working with a leader, working with teams, working even with business owners, these are some areas that you'll want to explore with your clients. As part of International Coaching Week, it's always an opportunity to really think about how do we further understanding around what we do. So this morning's focus with weekly planning has been more of a productivity coaching focus. But if you are doing team coaching, definitely check out the Coaching Teams Through Chaos TEDx talk. Um, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, May the 9th, I'll be sitting down with Kathy Vaughn, our team lead for team coaching. And she and I'll be talking a little bit about the new advanced credential for team coaching. So if you're free tomorrow, and that is May the 9th at 12 noon Eastern, come back here, same Zoom room. Um, we'll be talking more about the new credential, which of course is on the horizon. I hope that you will join us for more events this week, whether you're here live or whether you're catching this on the replay. We've got three different events. I just mentioned the one tomorrow. And then Thursday is actually gonna be my favorite. If you like today and getting things done, on Thursday, we'll be coming back together again at noon for a 45 minute, what I like to call a design sprint. Now a design sprint takes you from high level program idea into getting some things on paper. So I would invite you if you have free time back down to be live and it will not be recorded and it will be an opportunity for you to start sketching things out. So with that, join me same room Thursday. Um, if you are interested in joining the design sprint, no cost, all these are open to everyone. So pass it on in your network and all that you'll need to do to prepare for Thursday's design sprint is think about either a program in its entirety or think about a session that you might be designing for. When I say designing for, it could be a workshop, could be a retreat, it could be a group coaching conversation, could be a webinar or even a team coaching process. You'll be amazed that in 45 minutes, we'll actually get some real clarity and ideas that you can further build on and or take forward to co-create with your own clients. So I hope that you'll join us, scan that QR code, which is different, get a whole listing to get on the list for the ICW events. And that's all I have today. If you're interested in what we did and learning a little bit more about the process behind it, that's what we teach over at groupcoachingessentials.ca. 
And later this week, Friday, we have our next Group Coaching Essentials five-week program kicking off. Um, it is an 8.75 CCE program, and that will run on Fridays from 1015 to 1130, starting on May 12th and running into June. Some of you in this last year or a couple of years now have been joining us for what we call the trifecta. So group coaching essentials, team coaching essentials, and then the advanced practicum. The nice thing about that triad or the three-part bundle is it gives you 32 0.75 hours of continuing coach education. So again, you can scan the QR code. We have team coaching essentials starting up again next week, Monday, and that will be 14 CCEs. So um, thank you. She says, thanks for offering this session, Jennifer, a great way to kick off International Coaching Week. Absolutely. I know I've benefited. I know you've all benefited from taking a little bit of time to focus on what's important for you this week. So I'll post this over at YouTube at Effective Group Coach and make sure that you share this with your colleagues. I'd also love to hear from you at the end of the week. How did this process help you? Did it accelerate things? Did it allow you to really check it off? And as we saw earlier, I'm just going to go back to the actual frame. A reminder that I will post a PDF copy of the weekly planning sheet. Invitation for you at the end of the week, whether that's Friday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever, take time to identify your achievements, your lessons learned, and your next week's top three. If you enjoyed today, this is where Plan to Track and Coaching Business Builder come in. These were two workbook planners I published about four or five years ago. And as you can see, I even use them, right? It's a great way to keep things moving in our work, in our businesses, if you need the focus. I know in my world with a lot of different balls in the air, taking this 10 to 15, 20 minutes every week is critical for business success. So with that, I will say have a great week and I hope that you will be able to join us live or on recording for one of our next ICW 2023 events. So with that, Thanks, everyone. Have a good time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.